Yo, who, no, who, a, a, which one did you a, enjoy a, sleeping with the most? My ex. Yeah, oh. that's what it is. You don't miss that lady, you miss the sex. Yeah. yeah. The thing. There are people out there who are in relationships, but mm. they know for a fact that that's not the relationship for them. Oh, Bambi Seed. Yeah, it's a placeholder. Okay. Because you... you because you, you just don't want to, it's winter, you don't want to go to bed alone, you don't want to go to movies alone, you don't want to go to dinner alone, you don't want to go to weddings alone. So you're dating somebody you know full well that this is not the love of my life life, you know. So a contract worker, you know, a casual worker. As a freelancer. <laughs> yes, okay. Freelancer. Renewed monthly. Oh. Pay as you go. So, uh... <laughs> So for, for freelancers, there are placeholders then. I was today years old when I found out what that oh, term goodness, is. you're a freelancer. Are, are you someone's placeholder, Nick? I, I'm, I'm Frankie's placeholder today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, it, you, it's a mutually beneficial relationship. You landed on that one quickly. Yeah. <laughs> Good for you. Good for you. Uh, a friend of mine was telling me that her sister's going through this. Mm-hmm. So now have a listen to this. They, they stay like, what, 15 minutes from each other, but... They can go for two weeks without seeing each other. Her and this guy. Yeah, she stays in Bryanston, he stays in Kailami. Okay. And they go to the same church. Ooh. And they've been dating for four months now. Mm-hmm. And she's just like, she feels like she's a placeholder in his life. Like he's waiting for something better to come along. And to be to be clear, this is different from like a casual hookup situation. No, this is You're not a, a fling. You're in a relationship, but... You can just see that there's no effort from their side. If you're not initiating, he's not initiating. But you guys are dating. I don't know if I'd want to be a placeholder. I don't even want to have a placeholder. What a waste of my time. I'd rather be single. It's a, it's a lot of work it, to have to entertain it, someone who, you don't genuinely who, like. Who? Guys, if we're being honest, kissing is gross. Okay. Mm. So I'm not going to kiss that some, Yeah, like now we're swapping bodily fluids and I don't really want you around. Tembigile, mind your mind. <laughs> mind your mind. <laughs> I, saw you, I saw where your face went. I ain't going to say it. And sometimes your face goes before your words do. So I'm going to stop you right now. I know this is true. I know this has happened because I've done this before where mm-hmm. I had a placeholder. And I was just like, well, you good to like go for dinner with. But we both know most. Dinner with someone you don't like. No, you like them enough to hang around with them, but you know full well that the next time summer happens, you're not going to be here. I'm not going to hear your flip-flops in my house. It's a one-season show. <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you in Germiston. Good morning. Good morning. How are you guys? We're good, Jerry. How are you? No, I'm fine, thanks. Are you de- are you using someone for a relationship placeholder? Um, No, I actually, when I just got out of school and college, I uh, started dating a girl that I met through a mutual friend, and um, yeah, from the get-go, I saw Facebook pictures and stuff, and I basically just wanted to use her for um, <clears throat> special needs. Mm. And um, yeah, we dated for a while, and I knew it wasn't going to be permanent, so I broke up with her. But now we've been—I'm dating another girl now, and uh, we've been together for like seven years now. But uh, I actually miss my ex a lot. I kind of regret breaking up with her. <laughs> you miss your placeholder? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so wh- what are we going to do about it? I say we because it's our problem now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, no, that's a difficult situation. It's kind of water under the bridge, I guess. But um, you miss her, so it's not water under the yeah. bridge. Yeah. Yeah, the problem is uh, the girl I'm with now is absolutely fantastic. I love her very much, and she doesn't know I, I still miss this girl. Oh, so she knows now. No. <laughs> um, well, I'm kind of anonymous, so I'm trying. I hope I get away with. <laughs> this so, this, this reminds me of that Hinder song. Remember, honey, why are you oh calling? God, so- yeah, um, yeah, you don't know. You don't know how much I listen to that song. Yes. Of, of my goals in then mm-hmm. yeah Nancy yes. oh. <laughs> listen to the lyrics <laughs> listen <laughs> honey why are you calling me so late it's kind of hard to talk right now exactly mm. exactly honey why are you crying everything okay I got a whisper cause I can't be too l- And then here's the crux of the story Uh-huh Well, Michael's in the next room 
Sometimes I wish it was you. Yeah, yeah. Jer. Yeah, Ooh, Jer. That, 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 that's my situation. So, exactly. Jerry, when in the seven years did this realization hit? Uh, only like two years ago. Oh. Yeah, because she, she, when we started dating this ex of mine, um, she, I was really into her and things were actually nice, like even though I use her, you know, for specific things. Um, <laughs> it, <laughs> okay, Ross, um, what is yeah. sex? <laughs> Say it, use your words. <laughs> but, um, yeah, she, she kind of became very materialistic and stuff and it kind of gave me an excuse to oh. leave, leave her, but... But, uh, yeah. yeah who, no, who, her, so which one did you enjoy thing. sleeping with the most? <gasps> My ex. Yeah, oh. that's what it is. You don't miss that lady, you miss the sex. Yeah. yeah. Just it, 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 the, the new one, you have to be honest with you about your sexual needs. It'll be like, I like it when you do this. I like it. What do you like? Cause, no, yeah. it, 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 don't avoid it. Because if you love her, this new one, just teach her to be what you want in bed. That's it. Mm, yeah. No, I think, I think that is the problem. I guess... I it mean, is the problem, Jerry, because you can't even say the word sex to us. So how you how you bring it up to somebody <laughs> that you with all the time? Also, yeah, I, I just didn't know if this is a family-friendly program. I just didn't <laughs> know words around, you know? Listen, too late to be a prude, you freak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess that's true, eh? <laughs>